Shalom family trendsetter. I'm actually driving, so you will hear some noise in the background. Actually, on my way down to Chicago, we got another hour or so before I reach. So I decided to come on here and rap with y'all a little bit. Now, I'm sure a lot of y'all are bombarded with current events. You know, the news of Nisby Hustle getting murdered. So I'm not even going to speak too much about it because I'm sure everybody's familiar with the case, the situation. His murderer, or the alleged shooter, as I say, is apprehended. So I'm going to fast forward and move on to another subject. Now, for me, it seems like since the year began, right? 2019, as I told you in my past video, I believe 2019 is going to be the year of revelation. This is the year where we're going to see a lot of stuff the most High is going to reveal to us this year and what i've noticed on youtube there's a lot of so-called christian black christians as well as white so-called white ones too making videos that they're having dreams about the rapture but in this in these dreams they're getting left behind now me i don't believe in the rapture the way how to you know, the Christian presented or Christianity teaches it. I do believe that the Most High is going to gather his elect and 3.4 or 5.5 billion Christians. I don't think they're all going to make it because the Most High said only a remnant of Yasharal will make it. Two thirds actually of Yasharal will be destroyed. So when you see all this distraction, right? You had Cardi B, you had Michael Jackson situation, you had Smollett, R. Kelly. Now we have Nisby hustle, you know, situation. It's you know, I'm not saying the death of Nisby is pretty much a distraction, but I'm just saying that has to do with it. And if you notice a lot of this stuff that's happening within the last couple of weeks, it's like every week is something new. It has to do with the black community. It's affecting the black community, distracting the black community. Instead of us focusing on getting our lives, you know, correct before the most side decides to pour down his judgment, because it's coming. I believe it's going to be this year. You know what I'm saying? We are preoccupied with other issues. And I'm not saying you shouldn't mourn the loss of one of your own. You know what I'm saying? Because, of course, you know, if someone that represents the community doing something for the community and they're snuffed out, you have to pretty much, uh, let's just put it that you will react because you're a human being. We have humility, you know what I'm saying? We have feelings, emotions, not like some other people. But again, family, it's just so much distraction, even with that devil that attacked that black woman, pull out the gun and, you know, then, then he beat her come to find out they charged the woman with some kind of um i guess charge because she threw uh i believe it was i, I think they said a self i'm not sure exactly what she threw at his car after she she was the one that was attacked and assaulted but instead of just charging this devil they had to charge her too you know what I'm saying? so find some kind of felony charge on her because she felt she you know she was violated and she retaliated but yet yet still she got charged for something she's a victim but she got charged but it is what it is because you know like i said in my past video we're living in the land of our enemies these devils are ruling only for a season their time is up so they're going to do everything in their power to try to take us out but again back to these dreams that these so-called christians are having they're having dreams that they're left behind they didn't make it with the so-called rapture and I'm making this video, right, as a form of warning to you so-called Christians, you New Testament believer, right, you Hebrews who believe in Yahweh Shai, Yahushua, or Jesus, whatever y'all want to call this New Testament Savior that's not saving anybody. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have been deceived. The Bible said he should send a strong delusion that you will believe a lie. I believe it's a Thessalonian. That's in the New Testament. So the lie that has been sold to y'all is that this savior, the so-called son of God, which in the Old Testament, you only had 
one begotten son and you had one firstborn. That was Israel and David. That's it. But y'all are worshiping an idol called Jesus Christ. And this idol is telling y'all to eat of his body and drink of his blood. And then y'all are putting this idol before the Most High. The Most High said he's a jealous power. He's a jealous God, if you will. So why then the Most High would now say, you know what? I'm going to give all my glory, all my power, which he stated in the Old Testament he will never do. There's none, there's no other savior but him. But all of a sudden now, the Caucasian come into rulership. They bring their Christianity, the same fucking religion, right? That's responsible for millions of deaths. Okay? If y'all do y'all history, y'all will realize that this religion called Christianity, along with Islam, is responsible for a lot of death. Because even back in the days, there were many white people who did not want to conform to this religion. Because they knew it was wrong to worship a man that they alleged came from God. A lot of, a lot of these dumbass Christians and Hebrew Christians believe that Jesus is God. These Hebrew camps talk about Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, whatever the hell they call it. You know what I'm saying? putting Yahweh alongside, actually putting Yahweh Shah before the Most High. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense to me, but don't worry. Y'all time is coming. Two-third of y'all will be destroyed. And I know a lot of y'all believe us, you know, Torah only or Tanakh and Torah only keepers, we are the one that's deceived. But if I read in the Old Testament, which came before the New Testament, that there's no other savior. He's a jealous power. Right? We shouldn't serve any idols. As a matter of fact, in the Old Testament, it said we were going to worship wood and stone. The wood is a cross, and the stone is a Kabbalah stone in Mecca. But a lot of y'all, because y'all have been deceived by Asatan, these devils, the serpent seed, you know what I'm saying, to worship in another god, y'all going as far as to call in Jesus God himself. Well, Jesus, even in the New Testament, Jesus never ever said he was God. Jesus actually tell you to pray to the Heavenly Father. You know what I mean? If Jesus is God, then how was man able to kill God? If Jesus is God, then the creation created the creator because according to y'all dumbass story, right? Mary was the mother of God. So which came first, the chicken or the egg? But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, the most I said in the last days is going to pour out his spirit. And a lot of our people are waking up. I, I know a couple of um, New Testament believers, you know what I'm saying, now starting to realize that, you know what I'm saying, the New Testament is not what it appears to be. It's, it's a lot of allegories in the New Testament. It's not even necessarily um, thus said the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Now, you use, I use that word Lord very loosely because I know Lord refers to Asatan and God refers to Asatan, Satan, okay? But I just wanted to come on here to let y'all know it's time for y'all to wake up and realize that the Mosai is getting ready to pour out a judgment on this planet. All right, there's a lot of anom anomalies in the sky. Now, on my way to Chicago, and I kid you not, it's the Mosai my witness. I seen, I don't know if it was a fallen star, a UFO, an asteroid, or, or, or I don't know what it was, but this shit literally lit up the sky and it was falling, hit the ground, right? Now, I don't know how far away from me because I was actually in Indiana when I seen a anomaly, but this shit fell from the sky and the color of it was like blue, green, red and purple that was the color of it now i don't know what it was i you know i told one person about it because I, I was saying to myself you know what i'm not even gonna tell anybody because they're not gonna believe me anyway but i'm letting y'all know family this happened like i said the most High is my weakness the bible said let you yes be yes and you know we know but i'm i'm bringing forth the most High as a witness to what i'm saying that what i saw on my way to chicago in the field, it was dark, just like now. And I seen 
this lighted object literally fall. I mean, if it was going at least 200 miles an hour, because it, it fell. I don't know how far away it was from me, but I know it was huge. And it fell to the ground at a, a high rate of speed, family. And when I saw that, I kid you not, my whole spirit just changed. It's almost like the most side showing me a sign. And it was other truckers on the, on the highway, and I'm sure they seen it too, because it, it was like an open field. And it hit, but I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't know how far away it is, because a lot of times these objects are, are a distance away, but because it's, it's so huge and it light up. And the next thing I remember doing was actually turning on the radio, trying to listen for the news. I didn't get too much reception, because I was in Indiana in the country trying to see if I hear any news about it and I said today I was going to um, not today but tomorrow I'm going to actually Google to see if anything any anomaly was reported but family I'm telling you the most I said in the last day is going to show signs in the heaven so for you Christians who want to continue to call upon this pagan Gentile deity called Jesus Christ because remember the law, statutes and commandments was only given to the Israelite it was not given to the Gentile heathen nation they can 